This is question 27. College Board gives us data from a survey and asks us to interpret sample size. In particular, which of the following is the most appropriate reason the margin of error for sample A, 4.2%, is greater than the margin of error for sample B, 1.6%? Typically, margin of error is determined by sample size, not by the number of votes that could not be rec recorded, not by the the percent of favorable responses, or it's only very slightly sensitive to the percent of favorable responses. Margin of error is very sensitive to sample size, and it should make sense that when you take a larger sample, your errors are likely to be smaller, which means your samples, margin of error for A is greater, means that sample A has a smaller sample size, that would be choice D. With a smaller sample size, you have a greater margin of error. And that's just a fact you, fact you need to memorize for the SAT. If you've had AP stat, you will have covered that. If not, it's on the list of facts that you should make sure you memorize and review just before the SAT, because College Board has decided that margin of error is one of the topics that they will be testing on some tests. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.